I'm pretty sure she is, and you'll have to help find her. Uh, I want to find her because Susan B. Anthony is actually my favorite historical figure. I love that. Tell me more. Well, uh, well, I just honestly uh, like the entire history of the women's movement. It, uh, though, also here's my pet peeve. Uh, okay. Pet peeve. Yeah, I want to hear it. That Susan B. Anthony, is one of the most important people in the his uh, history of the women's movement, is normally forgotten and left out on anniversaries of the women's movement. Now, how weird is that? I know. Like, she literally got women the uh, right to vote, and yet she, uh, and yet she's probably the uh, most forgotten one. Well, I think we remembered her on this tree. I'm going to, she's a little bit hidden. Oh. Would that be our friend yeah. Susan? Yep. Uh, pretty sure that's Susan. I'm pretty sure it is too. I love that. Tell me some more stuff about Susan B. Anthony. Uh, well, people, uh, they're, uh, men uh, are people that were against her, literally threw eggs and burned pictures of her. Also, uh, also, uh, also, she was, uh, I can't remember the joke now. Uh, uh, I actually did like a whole speech uh, on her for a third grade project. I was homeschooled that year, so I could kind of go willy nilly and uh, willy nilly on my projects. And one of them was uh, do something on your favorite historical figure. And it was Susan B. Anthony. Yeah, uh, Ocher, I think. What? But so, uh, what's the name of that uh, f uh, famous oatmeal company? Um. Uh, with the man, the powdered wig. Yes. <laughs> Quaker. Quaker. Yeah, Quaker. Uh, she uh, she was a Quaker, not the oatmeal. Gotcha. <laughs> Who's this? I I've seen pictures of her like for yeah from uh, for like memes, but I actually don't know who she is. Well, her name is Rosie the Riveter, and during World War Two. All the women who had been staying home, raising kids, keeping house, they had to go work in the factories. And being a riveter was something that had always been a man's job. And she had to go and work all those heavy machines and make um, weapons and tanks and stuff for is the she war. Like, is she like a made-up person or an actual person? I think it's a mixture. I think they found... Oh, um, Amelia Earhart. Oh, look at there. He found Amelia. Um, I think she's a mixture of a lot of different women. Oh. But they were all real. What I do you think this one is? <sighs> From the looks a... of her dress and the fact that she's holding a lantern, uh, that an oil lantern, and there's something in her uh, pack, mm -hmm. I, I don't really... Uh, maybe it's the poetry gal. It could be someone else, though. I think it's the person who started the Underground Railroad. Do you know who that is? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, well, I know what the Underground Railroad is you know, uh, that Susan B. Anthony was actually a part of. Uh, gang, uh, you know where they uh, snuck kind of in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. uh, a foster family would take care of them for a day or two, then they'd sneak again. It sneak again. Who would? You can't, we haven't told our viewers who we're talking about. I don't know. Who would be the people that were trying to escape? Uh, uh, the black slaves. That's right. The slaves. And her name is Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. If you haven't read about Harriet, you, you'd probably enjoy that. Oh. Well, She's an important woman in history. I, I might, uh, maybe when I get back to my uh, house, I, uh, I could look up a page or two about her. Mm -hmm. I think you probably enjoy that. 